Hello guys, my name is Cam, and I'm bringing you another GIMP tutorial. Um, this one will be on how to create realistic oil paintings. So, it's gonna look something similar to this, you know, you can elaborate deeply with this. It doesn't have to just be a tree and some clouds and the sun and the grass, but I'll just be teaching you how to, like, do the basics. So, I'm gonna open up a new one. Just make it 640 by 400. And... Close this now. What you're gonna do, you're going to go to darn it, go to your gradient tool, make your gradient foreground to background RGB. Now, you, their colors are going to be a uh, dark blue, dark blue to a lighter blue, such as this, and you're going to just drag from up to down make it as straight as you can or wait a second I'll make it down to up or no ways up to down that actually this blue might be a bit too dark for what we're doing so let's try this that looks better alright now what you're going to do is you're going to start off on the grass so you're going to go to your paintbrush tool make it pencil scratch I'm using GIMP 2.8 right now I upgraded so pencil scratch use that your size can be around this size now change your foreground color to a green now go to green and ducks are a good color now just swipe along the bottom of your picture it doesn't have to be too perfect it's just gonna be the grass it does look a bit more unique when the grass is a bit up. Alright, that looks like a good start. Now what we're going to do, we're going to start on the tree. So, go back to your pencil tool. You know, your, pen, your paintbrush tool. Your brush is going to be this big one. The size is going to be pretty small. Um, no, nope, not that small, but... No, not that big. Somewhere in the fifth near 15 should do oh, that's still a bit too big or somewhere around 10 if I can get there wait man I have to do it the manual way <laughs> alright this looks good alright you're gonna change your foreground color to a brown and you're just gonna make like an outline of a pine tree so make it pretty tall now go like this and um, uh, make it short at the top and getting longer as you go down the tree. Doesn't have to be too perfect. Now what you're going to go to is your paintbrush. Go back to pencil scratch. The size is going to turn that up a bit. That looks good. Now change it back to uh, green, but not that light since it is going to be a uh, pine tree so that looks good now just swipe along the sides of the tree you can fix it later if you if it doesn't look too good right now and just swipe along the other side and what you can do so it doesn't look solid since uh, the pencil scratch is on like a 45 degree angle and when you're on the other side of the tree it looks like it's just you know like like that but what you can do in 2.8 is you can go here and you can change the angle of it so something like this works for the right side of the tree so just swipe along the side of the tree as you can see it's starting to take shape just get the middle get the top all right that looks good for now now what we're going to do is we're going to do the stump of the tree so you're going to go back to your paintbrush tool and go to this again Choose a smaller size brush. 
10 should do. And now what you're going to do on the left side, you're going to do a darker shade of brown. And on the right side, you're going to do a lighter shade of brown. So go to your brown. And just sort of make an outline of a trunk like this. All right. One second. One second, that still looks a bit wonky. Okay, there we go. Um, now you're going to get your darker shade of brown. So let me find a brown color. Um, that looks pretty dark, so just go along the side of the tree. You can fix that up really quick. Um, maybe it should be a bit darker. Looks good without making it too... No, that's getting too greeny. Let me find a uh, good color brown without making it look too bad. That, that's perfect. Alright. Nope. <laughs> now... This is weird. I just had a dark shade of brown a while ago. Um, you can probably just skip ahead while I find this. Um, let me see. Okay, I finally found a good shade of brown, so I'm just going to fill in part of this tree. And now for the lighter shade of brown, this should be a bit easier to find. So, doesn't have to be perfect either. It'll turn out good in the end. Okay, that that's pretty good. So just do that. Okay, what just happened? I just had it. My colors are all messed up right now. Um, a dark brown. Or a light brown. There we go. Don't want to make the tree look too big. I might just skip ahead until I get the trunk right. Okay, I will see you in a second.